I like the data camp breakdown of some of the necessary elements of a successful AI literacy program. It includes communicating using data in AI, reading or interpreting data in AI, reasoning with data in AI, and working with the data itself. So it's a combination of skills and literacy. But what are your thoughts on, on what it takes to implement an effective AI literacy program? Donald, I'm going to I'm going to start with you. I know this is an area that is dear to your heart. It really is, and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming to me. Because for me, literacy is it's, it's fundamentally important, and I, I'm actually very interested in conventional literacy, reading and light writing literacy. I spent a lot of my time in my in, you know working with lit adult literacy nonprofits, so I quite often have a different view of literacy. And the key thing about literacy for me is to understand the difference between personal literacy whether I understand things and can read and write, for example, or can work with AI at organizational literacy, which is actually a little bit different. Can our organization benefit from AI? And, and does our organization understand um, how to use AI, in, in this case, to its best advantage? And those are fundamentally different. You can have an individual person who's literate, and it would be like the Middle Ages, only a few people are literate and the rest of society is. Or you can have a situation as we have today in the West where, you know, a large number of people are literate and therefore society functions differently. So when we look at AI literacy, it may actually be better to increase the overall literacy of the organization by a little bit rather than having an isolated elite of few people who are highly AI literate. Now, of course, you probably want a mix of those things, but I really want to think about literacy in these different ways. The organizational literacy where everybody understands enough to be able to communicate and to be able to um, exchange uh, ideas and information and to learn from AI and um, this personal literacy where a smaller number of people may be deeply literate about these subjects but the rest of the people are ignorant we will do better most often by increasing the overall organizational literacy does, yeah. that, does that make sense if I put it that way yeah, yeah. And Anders, do you want to jump in? Well, I, I think if we if we look at uh, you know literacy as you know as a skill, and and I think the difficult part with when we say AI and people need to learn about it is if you say this is a tool and it can do a thing, and the difficult part for many people is imagining well what can it actually do? Like if I said you know here's a backhoe, everyone would say well you can dig a hole. It's not immediately obvious to people to say you could also put out a fire by getting water from a pool next door. You could use that to pull another vehicle out of a thing. So a skilled operator with a backhoe has 50 things that he can do that is not digging a hole. And I think the challenge with AI is you're like, oh, I learned it. Well, do you have an idea of what you could do with that outside of, I want it to write this story? You know, that is, I think, the more difficult part is, Ex, you know, broadening people's minds as far as could I use it for X? Could I use it for Y? When the very narrow use cases that, that were taught, pretty straightforward. And I think part of that is going to be, you know, maybe going to some conferences or some lectures, but also uh, meeting with some of the super skilled AI users and hanging out with them, you know, some collaboration and getting an idea of like, holy cow, I never thought that you would use this to pick colors or whatever you're doing. And that, I think, is a, a critical part of it is expanding your own imagination once given the, the tool itself. Yeah, Paul, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it over to you because you, you, uh, you live in a very specific world, right, that, and do a lot with SAP. So bringing applications together into this world of AI literacy, uh, what are your thoughts? So SAP's stated goal is to, to go wall-to-wall -wall AI, but I think that's every ERP's uh, stated goal. Um, they're not there yet. They're talk, talking a good talk, and people are not, people are learning, unfortunately, by themselves. And we've only got to look at this, at the results that are coming out on LinkedIn and stuff. I think it's, the increase of AI generated content has just been exponential in the last 12 months. Uh, and it's a lot, of, a lot of it's junk. Um, where I'm going with that 
is be, is that says that people are learning by themselves and using it the wrong way. So if if we're gonna use it across the board with your uh, ERP systems, we have to train people. We have to show them how to use it. If I just join a, new, a company tomorrow and I need to create a sales order, I'm going to start fiddling around in, in, in Word, trying to create it. And um, the AI should say, oh, it looks like you're trying to create a sales order. Uh, it will it should automatically bring me from Word through Teams, for example, and in, directly into SAP and go, here you go. Here's the template for that. And Microsoft Copilot, and this is like a use case scenario, should be able to hand over between uh, Copilot and Joule or any other AI to become the, to empower the human, not the other way around. Yeah, I, mean. well, I would say, you know, if you're talking about literacy and being humble, right? Telling people, look, generative AI is the hot new thing, but AI goes all the way back to Alan Turing. It goes all the way back to the HAL 2001 Space Odyssey. So giving people a historical perspective is always useful. Second, when it comes to generative AI, we we, we, we talk about use cases. People like Paul and me, because we're in the application world, we talk about use cases a little too much. I find helping people understand what happens behind the scenes. What does an LLM do? What does a GPU do? Why is NVIDIA so successful, et cetera? giving them the whole architectural flow is extremely important because people just don't seem to understand how complex the whole you know the whole uh, process is when you put in a when you put in a, a prompt in chat gpt breaks it down into tokens tokens get converted into vectors vectors get multiplied by weights i mean the amount of processing that is going on the amount of energy that's taking most people don't even realize how complex this whole thing is. Now, you may say that'll intimidate some people, but if you're trying to make them literate, I think it's useful to expose them to all this.